Hello, and welcome to the Auburn Public Library Tech Help video series. I am Brandon Rowland, the Digital Services Librarian, and today we're going to talk about Beanstack and how you can use it to participate in the Auburn Public Library Seasonal Learning Challenges, as well as 1,000 books before kindergarten. The easiest way to use Beanstack is by installing the Beanstack Tracker app to a smart device like your phone or tablet. Today, I'll be installing the app on an Android tablet, but the process would also be the same for Apple devices like the iPhone or iPad. I'll start by going to the Google Play Store. If you were using an Apple device, you would of course use the App Store. Once you have your respective store opened, you can search for Beanstack, and you will look for the Beanstack Tracker app in the results. Click on Install. Or, if you're using an uh, Apple device, you'll click on Get. Once the app is downloaded and installed, you will see the icon on your home page. We're going to go ahead and click on that. Then on our first page, you'll click on Let's Go at the bottom, followed by how you will participate in Beanstack which will be at my library, school, or bookstore. On the next page, you're going to select Find a Site. And from here, you can search for Auburn Public Library in the upper search bar. Once that search is complete, you'll select Auburn Public Library 8L for Alabama. On the next page, you'll see our sign-in. If you've already participated in a challenge using Beanstack, you can log in with your previous account. If this is your first time, just click Sign Up at the bottom of the page. Next, you're going to create a username and password. These will be your credentials to log into Beanstack going forward and will not affect any other library accounts you may have, such as Cloud Library or Flipster. I'll then click Next or Continue, and then we'll enter our personal information, including first name, last name, and then email, and telephone number. Now your account is created. And an important note is that you can add multiple readers under this user account, so a whole family only needs one login. If you're adding another reader, like a spouse or child, click Add Reader, and then you can enter their information. You have the option of adding a picture to your profile, and then you will select the grade level. Please note that if you're adult, please select adult at the very bottom of this list. And then you will select the school. Uh, for adults, you will select the other in this list. On the next screen, you'll be presented with any challenges available for your selected age group. The Summer Learning Challenge is the only one available for the age group I selected, so I'm going to click on Register, and then confirm my registration. Next, Beanstack will ask if this reader would like to receive personalized recommendations for books sent via email. Now that we have our profile set up, we can swap between them in the upper right-hand corner. Here are my two reader profiles, and you can select which you would like to view. To log for challenges, you click on the plus sign at the bottom. We're going to log reading now. As you can see, you can select multiple readers. So if you're a parent reading to a child, you can log the reading once and it will count for both profiles. 
And then from here, you can use the barcode scan to scan a barcode of any book, and it will automatically add the title information. Or you can scan by title in the top search bar. Select the title that you're reading. Make sure that track progress is selected. And now we can either quick complete the title, log reading by minutes, or start a timer. So please play around and find a logging method that works well for you. I'll be using the center option where we'll simply enter the number of minutes that you have read. Now your reading has been logged, and if you'd like, you can go and view your current reading challenges and see your progress uh, so far through your learning journey. Thank you for joining us today for the Auburn Public Library's Tech Help video series. Thank you for watching, and happy reading.